Hi guys, so welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Camilla, also known as Centane, and today we are watching Pulp Fiction. Thank you so 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 much for being here, a part of this reaction. I hope you will enjoy it, and if you'd like to watch the full reaction, it's over on Patreon. Pulp Fiction, let me talk to you about how we ended up with this one. I'm leaving for Spain very soon, and I was like, I don't have any videos to post while in Spain. I was like, okay, let's post some Patreon, maybe you guys can help me out. And Pulp Fiction was the first one. I have no idea what it is about, I think it's a Quentin Tarantino? I don't really know much about Tarantino. It's also my first Quentin Tarantino movie. I have never watched anything by Tarantino. Yeah, I should probably <laughs> I should probably look up some movies by him if I like this one. Other than that, I know that this movie is highly loved. I think it's a comedy. I am so excited for that because recently I've been I've been watching some pretty tough things such as Chernobyl and before that we were watching like the Pacific and before that that was Band of Brothers and then I've been crying my eyes out uh, of Return of the King and Jurassic Park was scary too. <laughs> so if this is a comedy this is perfect. I hope you enjoyed this reaction. If you'd like to connect with me you can find me on all social media. They will all be linked down below. Thank you guys so much for clicking into this video and let's get watching Pulp Fiction. Huh. Forget it. It's too risky. I'm through doing that shit. You always say that. The same thing every time. I'm through, never again, too dangerous. No, that's what I always say. I'm always right, too. But you forget about it in a day or two? Yeah, well, the days of me forgetting are over. The days of me remembering have just begun. You know when you go on like this what you sound like? I'm like a sensible fucking man. That's what I sound like. You like quack, 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 quack. Since I'm never gonna do it again, you're never gonna have to hear me quack that I'm never gonna do it again. After tonight? Correct. I got all tonight to quack. I'm taking the same risk as when you rob a bank. Take more of a risk. Banks are easier. Federal banks ain't supposed to stop you in any way during a robbery. You're insured. Why should they give a fuck? They don't even need a gun in a federal bank. That was a lot of sugar. Cleans the place out. They don't even lift a fucking finger. Did they hurt the little girl? I don't know. There probably never was a little girl in the first place. But the point of the story isn't a little girl. The point <laughs> of the story is they robbed a bank with a telephone. We're out of it. Yeah, well, what then? Day jobs? Not in this life. What then? Garcon, coffee! Garcon means boy. Nobody ever robs restaurants. They're not expecting to get robbed. Not as expecting anyway. But customers sitting there with food in their mouths, they don't know what's going on. One minute they're having a Denver omelette, next minute someone's sticking a gun in their face. Pretty smart, huh? Pretty smart. Oh boy. Right now, right here. Same as last time, remember? <coughs> Your crowd control. I handle employees. Mm. I love you, pumpkin. I love you, honey bunny. Everybody be cool, this is a robbery! What? And Bruce Willis. Pretty big names in this movie. Okay, so tell me again about the hash bar. Okay, what you want to know? It's, it's legal to buy it. It's legal to own it. If you're the proprietor of a hash bar, it's legal to sell it. It's legal to carry it, but, but, but that doesn't matter. Just get a load of this. If you get stopped by a cop in Amsterdam, it's illegal for them to search you. But you know what the funniest thing about Europe is? And in Paris, you can buy a beer at McDonald's. And you know what they call a, a, a quarter pounder with cheese uh, in Paris? And what do they call it? They call it uh, Royale with cheese. Royale with cheese. That's right. Yeah. Hey, names. Uh, hey. <laughs> I seen them do it, man. They fucking drown them in this shit. Ugh. Yeah. Oh, I don't like mayo. We should have shotguns with this kind of deal. How many up there? Three or four. That's counting our guy? Not you. She used to be an actress. Oh, really? Did she do anything out of scene? I think her biggest deal was she starred in a pilot. Pilot? What's a pilot? Well, you know the shows on TV? I don't watch TV. Yeah, but you are aware that there's an invention called television, and on this invention they show shows, right? Well, the way they pick TV shows is they make one show. That show's called a pilot. Some get chosen and become television programs. Some don't become nothing. She starred in one of the ones that became nothing. What the what then? Gave her a foot massage. <laughs> foot massage? That's it? Mm-hmm. 
Sent a couple of cats over to his place. They took him out on his patio, threw his ass over the balcony. Still, I have to say, you play with matches, you get burned. What do you mean? You don't be giving myself as well as a new bride a foot massage. Eating a bitch out and giving a bitch a foot massage ain't even the same fucking thing. True. Maybe your method of massage differs from mine. But you know, touching his wife's feet and sticking your tongue in the holiest of holies ain't the same fucking ballpark. It ain't the same league. It ain't even the same fucking sport. Have you ever given a foot massage? <laughs> Don't be telling me about foot massages. I'm the foot fucking master. Would you give a guy a foot massage? Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you. You know, I'm kind of tired. I can use a foot massage myself. Yo, 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 man. You best back off. I'm getting a little pissed here. What's her name again? Mia. Mia. Why are you so interested in big man's wife? <laughs> it's like if you were going to take your buddy's wife to a movie or something. It's just good company, that's all. Hmm. It's not a date. It's definitely not a date. Hey, kid. How you boys doing? We're associates of your business partner, Marcellus Wallace. You mind if I try one of yours? This is yours here, right? Yeah. Mm hmm. This is a tasty burger. I can't usually get them because my girlfriend's a vegetarian. Pretty much makes me a vegetarian, but... You know what they call a quarter pounder with cheese in France? Royale with cheese. Royale with cheese. Because of the metric system? Check out the big brain on bread. You're a smart motherfucker, that's right. <laughs> Send this. Sprite. Sprite, good. Have some of your tasty beverage to wash this down. Oh boy. Why don't you tell my man Vince here where you got the shit here? It's over there. It's I don't there. remember asking you a goddamn thing. He's scared. It's in the cupboard. We have I just want you to know how sorry we are that, that things got so fucked up with us and, and Mr. Wallace. Really, I never... <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. Did I break your concentration? You were saying something about best intentions? What? What country are you from? What? What? What ain't no country I ever heard of. They speak English in what? What? English, motherfucker! Do you speak? <laughs> Describe what Marcellus Wallace looks like. He's bald. Does he look like a bitch? <gasps> oh! He look like a bitch! I said it's Wallace don't like to be fucked by anybody except Mrs. Wallace. Oh my god. Ezekiel 25, 17. Blessed is he who in the name of charity and goodwill shepherds the weak through the valley of darkness. For he is truly his brother's keeper and the finder of lost children. And I will strike down upon thee with great Vengeance and furious anger. Those who attempt to poison and destroy my brothers. And you will know my name is the Lord when I lay my vengeance upon thee. I have no problem with that, Mr. Wallace. In the fifth, my ass goes down. Big man's right over there taking care of some business. You see the white boy leave, just go on over. So I hear you taking me out of tomorrow. At Marcellus's request. Have you met me? Not yet. <laughs> so fucking funny. <laughs> I got the pitch. I got the pitch. <laughs> Poor Vincent. Name's Paul. This just between y'all. What would you fucking ask me about it for? You looking at something, friend? Me and my friend Paluka. As if it turns every part of your body into the tip of a penis. Wow. I'll let it do the great book on piercing. Get that gun. That gun goes against the entire idea behind piercing. Mm -hmm. Oh my piercing? 18 places on my body. They should be done with needle. I have nine. <laughs> Why would you wear a stud in your tongue? Sex thing. Helps fellatio. Oh, that's true. Now, white people who know the difference between good shit and bad shit, this is the house they come to. This is a seller's market. Coke is fucking dead as dead. Heroin is coming back in a big fucking way. My God. Three grand of madmen. 
Okay. Thank you, Jody. <laughs> Mind if I shoot up here? Hey, mi casa, su casa. Who's just grass? Vincent. Vincent. I'm on the intercom. It's on the wall by the two African fellows. Go make yourself a drink and I'll be down in two shakes of a lamb's tail. The bar's by the fireplace. Okay. <laughs> He's so awkward. This is Jack Rabbit Slims. An Elvis man should love it. Come on, man. Let's go get a steak. You can get a steak here, Daddy O. Oh, after you, kitty cat. I've been awakening in school all day long, waiting on the bell ring, so my books on the table pick up the telephone. Oh, that guy was feeling it. What do you think? I think it's like a wax museum with a pulse. Hi, I'm Buddy. What can I get you? Douglas Sirk steaks. Buddy as hell, and oh yeah, look at this. Vanilla Coke. Durward Kirby Burger, bloody, and $5 shake. How do you want that shake? Martin and Lewis or Amos and Andy? Martin and Lewis. Did you just order a $5 shake? That's a shake. That's milk and ice cream. You don't put bourbon in or nothing? No. Just checking. <laughs> Roll me one of those, cowboy. You can have this one, cowgirl. Thanks. <laughs> don't get too close, your boss might not like it. I'm stressing for his sake here, okay? Marsala said you just got back from Amsterdam. How long were you there? Uh, just over three years. I go there about once a year to chill out for a month. I heard you did a pilot. That was my 15 minutes. What was it? It was a show about a team of female secret agents called Fox Force 5. Fox as in we're a bunch of foxy chicks. Force as in we're a force to be reckoned with. And five as in there's one, two, three, four, five of us. There was a blonde one, Somerset O'Neill. She was a leader. The Japanese fox was a kung fu master. The black girl was a demolition expert. French fox's speciality was sex. What was your specialty? Knives. It would have worked in a gimmick where every show, I would have told another joke. Do you know any animal jokes? I would watch that. That's not what I meant. You know it. Well, now I'm definitely not going to tell you because it's been built up too much. <laughs> oh my god. Mm. Yummy. You think I can have a sip of that? You can use my straw, I don't have cooties. Yeah, but maybe I do. Cooties I can handle. <laughs> this is not good. God damn, it's a pretty fucking good milkshake. I don't know if it was worth five dollars, but it was pretty fucking good. <laughs> what are you planning? Oh, I feel like there's something with this girl. Like she's planning something. I'm gonna go to the bathroom and powder my nose. You sit here and think of something to say. I'll do that. Okay. Even <laughs> before she doesn't come back. I said, God damn! God damn! Don't you just love it when you come back from the bathroom to find your food waiting for you? We're lucky we got anything at all. I don't think Buddy Holly's much of a waiter. Maybe we should have sat in Marilyn Monroe's section. Would you like some coffee? Which one? There's two Monroe's. No, there's not. That is Marilyn Monroe. That is Mamie Van Doren. Yeah, I got my moments. <laughs> so do you think of something to say? Actually, I did. You can't promise something like that. I have no idea what you're going to ask me. What did you uh, think about what happened to Antoine? He fell out of a window. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Another way to say it would be that he was thrown out. Another way would be was he was thrown out by Marcellus, and yet even another way is to say he was thrown out of a window by Marcellus because of you. They talk a lot, don't they? <laughs> they certainly do. Can you believe that? Marcellus throwing Tony out of a four-story window for massaging my feet seem reasonable? No. A husband being protective of his wife is one thing. A husband almost killing another man for touching his wife's feet is something else. But when you little scamps get together, you're worse than a sewing circle. Damn, she has guts. So world famous Jack Rabbit Slims Twist Contest. Oh. Now this is where one lucky couple. Oh no, a couple. Right here. 
Want to dance? Mm -hmm. I do believe Marcellus, my husband, your boss, told you to take me out and do whatever I wanted. Now I want to dance. I want to win. I want that trophy. Oh boy, Vincent is in for it. Young lady, what is your name? Mrs. Mia Wallace. And uh, how about your fella here? <laughs> Does he know how to dance? I guess we'll see. <laughs> this is gonna be so awkward, I love it. Okay, that was very feel good. I love that. Oh no! Drinks, music. I'm gonna take a piss. That's a little bit more information than I needed, Vince, but go right ahead. Uh oh, he's gonna catch feelings. We're in so much trouble. One drink, and that's it. Don't be rude. Drink your drink, but do it quickly. Say goodnight and go home. Gentlemen. Hello. You're gonna go out there, you're gonna say goodnight. I've had a very lovely evening. Walk out the door, get in the car. Go home, jerk off, and that's all you're gonna do. Okay. She takes them very often. <laughs> Alright, Mia. So listen, I gotta go. Right? Oh, Jesus Christ. Don't fucking die on me, Mia! Answer. Hello? Lance! Vincent! What, what's the problem? I got this chick, she's fucking ODing on me. Well, don't bring her here. She's ODing? She's fucking dying on me, man! Okay, well then you bite the fucking bullet and you take her to a hospital and call a lawyer. Uh, are you talking to me on a cellular phone? I don't know you. Who is this? Don't come here. I'm hanging up the phone. Prank caller! Prank caller! You lost your Great. It's this fucked up bitch is Marcellus Wallace's wife. Do you know who Marcellus Wallace is? Yeah. Do you? Yeah. Well, if she croaked- He just dropped her like that. I will be forced to tell him that you did not help and that and you let her die in your fucking lawn. Now, come on, help me. She's so dead. Get the hell out of here. Get her the shot up. Jody, come on. Fucking stop. Will you not talk to me? Start talking to her. Shot, right. My God. You take off her shirt and find her heart. All right, what I need is a big fat magic marker. No, 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 man, man. I ain't give you, you. You're gonna give her the shot. No, you're gonna give her the shot. I ain't giving her. No, I ain't giving her the shot. I never done this yeah, before. I ain't never done it before either. All right, I ain't starting now. The day that I bring an OD and bitch to your house, then I give her the shot. Give her the shot. Give it to me. here. Give me that. You're giving her an injection of adrenaline mm -hmm. straight to her heart, but she's got a breastplate. So you gotta pierce through that. So what you gotta do is you gotta bring the needle down in a stabbing motion. I, I gotta, I, I gotta stab her three times. No, you don't gotta fucking stab her three times. You gotta stab her once, but it's gotta be hard enough to get through her breastplate into her heart. All right, ready? One, two, three. <laughs> if you're all right, then say something. Something. Oh my. God. God. <sighs> so much is happening in this movie. If Marcellus knew about this incident, I'd be in as much trouble as you. I seriously doubt that. I can keep a secret if you can. Now, if you excuse me, I'm gonna go home and have a heart attack. Vincent, do you want to hear my Fox Force 5 joke? Three tomatoes are walking down the street. 
Papa tomato, mama tomato, and baby tomato. Baby tomato starts lagging behind, and Papa tomato gets really angry, goes back and squishes him, says, ketchup. Bad. See you around. Don't do that. Hello, little man. I sure heard a bunch about you. See, I was a good friend of your dad's. This watch I got here. First purchased by your great grandfather during the First World War. This was your great grandfather's war watch, and he wore it every day he was in that war. And he'd done his duty, went home to your great grandmother, took the watch off an old coffee can and in that can it stayed till your granddad dane coolidge was called upon by his country to go overseas and fight the germans once again it's time to call it world war ii great grandfather gave this watch to your granddad for good luck unfortunately dane's luck wasn't as good as his old man's granddad was facing death granddad asked a gunner on an air force transport named a wanaki to deliver to his infant son his gold watch Three days later, your granddad was dead, but Wanaki kept his word. His watch was on your daddy's wrist when he was shot down on that Hanoi. In one place he knew he could hide something, his ass. Five long years he wore this watch, up his ass. Then he died of dysentery. He gave me the watch. I hid this uncomfortable hunk of metal. I give the watch to you. <laughs> Excuse me. What am I watching? <laughs> Wilson is dead. Well, Dan, that had to be the bloodiest and hands down the most brutal fight this city has ever seen. Do you feel that this tragedy is going to have an effect on the world oh, of boxing? Oh, Richard, a tragedy like this can't help but shake the world of boxing to its very foundation. I will take care of it. Tough business. You were in that fight. The fight on the radio. Let me give you that idea. The gloves? <laughs> you're him. I know you're him. You killed the other boxing man. He's dead? The radio said he was dead. He's a subject I have much interest in. That sounds creepy. <laughs> I want to know what it feels like to kill a man. I couldn't tell you. I didn't know he was dead until you told me he was dead. I don't feel the least bit bad about it. Keep the light off. Is that better, sugar pop? Wait. Hard day at the office? Pretty hard. Yeah, office. You know what? I was thinking about taking a shower. I was thinking like a dog over here. I like the way. <laughs> Pot bellies make a man look either oafish or like a gorilla. What? Did everything go as planned? You didn't listen to the radio? I never listened to your fights. Were you the winner? I won, alright. So it all worked out in the finish. Oh, yeah, except something went bad. I think I cracked the rib. Giving me oral pleasure? Oh my god. Get up, oh. easy bones. Oh. You know what I'm gonna have for breakfast? What, lemon pie? Big plate of blueberry pancakes with maple syrup. Eggs over easy and five sausages. Any time <laughs> of the day is a good time for pie. True. Where's my watch? You lost it. Now all this other shit you could set on fire, but I specifically reminded you not to forget the fucking watch! Then I did. Are you sure? Nope. Oh, poor Fabian. <sighs> he left it at the apartment. Won't the gangsters be looking for you there? That's what I'm gonna find out. If they are, I don't think I can handle it. I'm gonna split. Shit, of all the fucking things she can fucking forget! She forgets my father's watch! <laughs> Oh, they're gonna be waiting by the car. Does he have time for this? Oh my god. I really liked Vincent. Don't tell me. Oh my god. He's dead. 
Who? Him. I'll be damned. <laughs> and then just pulls it out. He's not having a good day. So we're gonna get their motherfucking head blown up. Hold it right there, goddammit. This ain't none of your business, mister. I'm making it my business. Toss the weapon. You know what I'm saying, man? Toss the weapon. Oh, look at his eyes. Come on. <clears throat> yeah, the spider just caught a couple of flies. Bring out the gimp. I think the gimp's sleeping. Well, I guess you just have to go wake him up now, won't you? Yeah. I thought it was a dog. Yeah. Which one of you want to do first? I ain't for sure yet. Guess that means you, big boy. I don't get what I'm watching right now. Oh, turning into Kill Bill. Oh my god, poor Marcellus. Side, you hear me talking, hillbilly boy? I ain't through with you by damn sight. I'ma get medieval on your ass. There is no me in you. Don't tell nobody about this. It ain't nobody else's business. You leave town tonight, right now. I've never been this uncomfortable before while watching a movie. Where did you get this motorcycle? It's not a motorcycle, baby. It's a chopper. Come on, let's go. Oh, I'm sorry, sweetie. I didn't mean to worry. Everything's fine. How was your breakfast? It was good. Did you get the pancakes? We can talk about the pancakes while she's sitting on the motorcycle. Or the chopper, as he said. Whose motorcycle is this? <sighs> it's a chopper, baby. Zed's. Who's Zed? Zed's dead, baby. Zed's dead. <laughs> And I will strike down upon thee with great vengeance and furious anger. Marvin. Marvin! I'd knock that shit off if I was you. Die, you mother! Yeah. No, 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 no. That shit wouldn't love. This was divine intervention. That means that God came down from heaven and stopped the bullets? That's right. That's exactly what it means. You ever seen that? There's still one guy on the couch, wasn't it? <laughs> from here on in, you can consider my ass retired. Jesus Christ. Don't blaspheme. Well, you gotta have an opinion. I mean, do you think that God came down from heaven and stopped the bullets? Oh, what the fuck's happening? Oh, oh man. Shit, man. Just listen up, man. Me and my homeboy in some serious fucking shit, man. We're in a car. We got to get off the road pronto. Maybe if you had lava, I could have done a better job. I used to say fucking soap you did when I finished the towel. It didn't look like no goddamn maxi pad. <laughs> this some serious gourmet shit. And Vincent would have been satisfied with some freeze-dried taster's choice, right? 
Jimmy, you know I ain't seen no shit. Did you notice a sign in the front of my... No, man, you know, fuck. I mean, I want to help you, but I, I don't want to lose my wife doing it, all right? There's nothing that you're going to say that's going to make me forget that I love my wife. Is there? She comes home from work in about an hour and a half. You got to make some phone calls. You got to call some people. Well, then do it. And then get the fuck out of my house before she gets here. All I want to do is call my people and get them bring us in. That's all. You don't fuck my shit up. You're fucking my shit up right now. Uh, Jimmy, right? This is your house? Sure is. I'm Winston Wolf. I solve problems. Bonnie comes home at 9.30 in the a.m., is that correct? Uh-huh. 40 minutes to get the fuck out of Dodge. You got a corpse in a car, minus a head in a garage. Take me to it. Jimmy. Uh-huh. Don't let's melt some coffee back there. Would you make me a cup? Uh, yeah, sure. Lots of cream, lots of sugar. About the car, is there anything I need to know? Does it stall? Does it smoke? Does it make a lot of noise? Is there gas in it? Anything? You two folks to do is take those cleaning products and clean the inside of the car. I'm talking fast, fast, fast. You need to go in the back seat, scoop up all those little pieces of brain and skull. Get it out of there. Wipe down the upholstery. Now, when it comes to upholstery, you don't need to be spick and span. You don't need to eat off it. Just give it a good once over. What you need to take care of are the really messy parts. Boys, get to work. Please would be nice. Come again? I said a please would be nice. Get it straight, Buster. I'm not here to say please. I'm here to tell you what to do. This is their problem, not his. I'm here to help. If my help's not appreciated, lots of luck, gentlemen. No, 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 Mr. Wolf. It ain't like that. Your help is definitely Mr. appreciated. Mr. Wolf, Uncle Conrad and my Aunt Ginny, and they're not with us anymore. And I really want to help you Let guys out. Let me ask you a question. Your Uncle Conrad and Aunt Ginny, were they millionaires? Well, your Uncle Marcellus is. They would furnish you with a whole bedroom set, which your Uncle Marcellus is more than happy to do. How about you, Jimmy? You an oak man? Oak's nice. <laughs> Oak's nice. Oh, man. I will never forgive your ass for this shit. This is some fucked up repugnant shit. Fine job, gentlemen. You may get out of this shit. I can't believe this is the same car. Well, let's not start sucking each other's dicks quite yet. <laughs> Strip. All the way? To your bare ass. You know what you two look like? What? Like a couple of guys who just blew off somebody's head. Jim? The soap. You've both been to county before, I'm sure. Here it comes. The water's fucking cold. Yo, Better yo, you yo, than yo. me, gentlemen. Don't be afraid of the soap. Oh, Spread it around. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. We couldn't have planned this better. You guys look like dorks. That's how they got the clothing. <laughs> ha ha ha. Your clothes, motherfucker. <laughs> Don't make me beg. Okay, gentlemen, we're going to a place called Monster Joe's Truck and Tow. I'll drive the tainted car. Jules, you ride with me. Nobody does a fucking thing till I do something. Right. What did I say? Don't do shit unless. If I get my car back any different than I gave it, Monster Joe's gonna be disposing of two bodies. No pressure. Boys, this is Raquel. I'm taking my lady out for breakfast. It's your future. I, I see a, a cab ride. Move out of the sticks, fellas. Say goodnight, Raquel. Goodnight, Raquel. I'll see you guys around. Stay out of trouble, you crazy kids. Oh, boy. Brilliant. Thank you very much, Mr. Wolf. Call me, boys. You see that, young lady? Respect. Want you a cab? <laughs> I go for some breakfast. You feel like having breakfast with me? I didn't even, you know, even really get pissed when you were fucking with it. I was amazed. Want some bacon? Oh, poor Vincent. All of this, then Mia Odir, and then he was shot many times i wouldn't go so far as to call a dog filthy but they're definitely dirty but dogs got personality personality goes the wrong way what is a miracle vincent act of god and what's an act of god god makes the impossible possible this morning i don't think it qualifies you're judging this shit the wrong way i mean it could be god stopped the bullets or he changed coke to pepsi he found my fucking car keys you don't judge shit like this based on merit god got involved you really thinking about quitting? The life? Yeah. Most definitely. Fuck. What's she gonna do then? That's what I've been sitting here contemplating. So you decided to be a bump? I'll just be Jules, Vincent. No more, no less. No, Jules. You decided to be a bump. Look, my friend, this is just where you and I differ. Got some! Coffee! What happened this morning, man, I agree. It was peculiar. And they were here as well. 
I love you, pumpkin. I love you, honey bunny. Here we go again. Everybody, you call this a robbery! And I'll execute every one of your motherfuckers! Throw those back! Fucking way up! Move! Move! Hit on Chido. Well done. <laughs> Gonna come around and collect your wallets! And just throw them in a the bag! Are we clear? Yes, I don't have nothing on me, man. Uh oh. Who's just gonna die? It's in a case. My boss is dirty laundry. The boss makes you do his laundry? When he wants it clean. Sounds like a shit job. Funny, I was thinking the same thing. Open it. Afraid I can't do that. I didn't hear you? Yes, you did. Three. Okay, Ringo. You win. It's yours. Open it. What is it? Is that what I think it is? Mm hmm. It's beautiful. <laughs> Tell that bitch to be cool. I'm gonna kill you. Say bitch, be cool. Be cool, honey. Say bitch, be cool. Tell that fucking bitch to chill. Chill out, honey bunny. Chill. Chill out, honey bunny. We're not gonna do anything stupid, are we? I want you to let go your gun, put your palms flat on the table, and sit your ass down. Vincent is just on the toilet. Vincent, be cool. Yolanda, it's cool, baby. We still just talking. Come on, point the gun at me. Point the gun at me. Yeah, oh boy. You're still cool, honey bunny. How we doing, baby? I, I gotta go pee. I'm gonna go home. Just hang in there, baby. You're doing great. I'm proud of you. I want you to go in that bag and find my wallet. People in the back is just watching at this point. How much is that? About $1,500. Okay, put it in your pocket. It's yours. Now, with the rest of those wallets in the register, that makes this a pretty successful little score, huh? Jules, you give that fucking Nimrod $1,500 and I'll shoot him on general principle. No, Yolanda, Yolanda, he ain't gonna do a goddamn motherfucking thing. Vince, shut the fuck up! Shut up! Come on, Yolanda, stay with me, baby. Oh, poor Yolanda. Well, there's this passage I got memorized. Ezekiel 25, 17. Oh, not again. And I will strike down upon thee with great vengeance and furious anger those who attempt to poison and destroy my brothers. I've been saying that shit for years. You're the righteous man, and I'm the shepherd. And it's the world that's evil and selfish. I'm trying real hard to be the shepherd. I think we should be leaving now. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. So that happened. I'm just kind of speechless. And I mean, I have seen some really messed up movies in the past. But there was just so many things I, I couldn't like comment on because I didn't have enough knowledge about the things such as the drug use and ODs and all of that. I mean, the, I, the entire scene with the gimp and hello, how do you, how do you react to that? I understand that some people may think that this is a masterpiece, but I also do think that this movie isn't for everyone, and I do believe it's not for me. I feel so sorry for Vincent. Like, Vincent? Vincent was at the toilet or in the bathroom every time something bad was going to happen, and when he left the room, there was being a robbery, and the second time he left the bathroom, he got shot, and I... that's... <laughs> depressing and i know some of you if some of my friends are here they're gonna be like oh but camille you have seen human centipede and you have watched the serbian film yeah and they're absolutely worse but this was unexpected and gross and it's not easy to sit there and be like all positive or absolutely gruesome things happening on the screen either but as i said i understand that people think this is a masterpiece but I do believe it's also not for everyone. Anyways, if you'd like to watch my full reactions over on Patreon, and if you'd like to connect with me, you can find all my social media linked down below. Thank you, anyways, so much for watching this together with me, and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye, guys.